I'm taste testing rations for the shelter I'm digging. Are you the coolest person in the world? I doubt it. I have no idea how to make a curriculum. Becoming a teacher was a huge mistake. Without a doubt. Now that said, there's certain perks. Excuse me. Wow, I don't know if teachers could cut in line. I can actually experience this food warm and disgusting. Winger, what are you doing? This line is for food, not for Lionel Richie tickets. This is my house. Come here. This man's name is Mr. Winger. And Mr. Winger is a teacher. You know what that means? It means he gets your meatballs. Oh, please. That's, that's all I have. Get out of here. Place is a zoo. The trick is, you gotta show the other baboons you got a bigger, redder ass. Let's hit the lounge. Whoa. Everybody, this is the new guy, Winger. He's having trouble planning his curriculum. <laughs> 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 Here's all you need to know. Break into groups, grade each other's papers, and please enjoy the seven disc edition of Planet Earth. Yoo-hoo! Uh, is there a Mr. Winger in here? <laughs> Jeffrey, we need to carve out some time to learn Excel. Do you guys know Excel? I'm learning. You know the rules, Pelton. Drop the checks and move on. Oh. Jeffrey, I'm gonna boot up my computer and download the tutorial. <laughs> what was that about? Union rules. Management's not allowed in the faculty lounge. I think I get used to this. I warned you to separate these worlds. She's lead, we're chalk. She needs to be taken out. Of your class. I say minus her. Minus her? Give her A minuses, it'll drive her nuts, she'll drop. She'll call me on it, she'll report me. Teachers don't have to explain minuses. Why do you think we invented them? She's my friend. Yeah. You like the Leonard meatballs? They added something special. Leonard. <laughs> Come on. I'm just messing with you. You done with your bit? Uh, I'd like my earring back. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Go get your earring, you piece of human garbage. <laughs> you gave Annie an A minus? How could you? What were you thinking? Are you drawing a peanut? It's a Duck. It's none of your concern, actually. Are you trying to cut two? Trying and succeeding. State your business. I want to know what kind of monster Minus is the best student in his class. I'm a monster? I was in the storm drain lair of the Black River Ripper. I have seen human heads used for things other than heads. So you best not be calling me a monster. Okay. You're a bad teacher. I got her off your back. I was handling it. Unlike you, I know how to engage my students. I mean, I may not love teaching, but I did fool around with it today, and I may hook up with it again a few more times, even if I do dump it right before Christmas. We do not work for them. Maybe we do. That does not count as an argument. Yeah, well, drawing ducks doesn't count as cartooning. It's one duck, his name is Jim, and publishers are interested. Quiet, I think Jeff's coming. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, pharmacy, please. Yeah, this is Buzz Hickey. I think you gave me the wrong medication. I usually get Lipitor. What do you mean my insurance won't cover it anymore? My body does not respond well to the generic stuff. Let me ask you a question, lady. Can you pay out of pocket? I am an educator, ma'am, living on a teacher's salary. I know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What's your name? Leah. Well, let me tell you something, Leah. I wake up every night screaming. Life is unfair, but it's the only thing we get. Yeah, 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 I'll call back later. Ma, it's Buzz. I'm gonna say this as fast as I can. We can't afford to bury Dad with the rest of the family. Okay, ooh la la. Hickey, what have you got? Heartburn. It doesn't help me catch criminals. Okay. I didn't want to take drastic measures, but I've cooked up a little something. Ching! You better put a quarter in that crack, Mr. Bandit. Professor um. Hickey? 
Whoops. Ah, what do you think? I think this is spending too much money on a crime that nets you 25 cents a pop. Ah, da da, this was free. But I think you just admitted you already owned a fake butt. Hiya, kids. I'm criminology professor Buzz Hickey. And this, this is just a little something I threw together. <laughs> centipede! Centipede! Okay! Pull uh, oh, 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 My crush is named Italian! They abandon you? This game's doing bad things to people. And me, I'm just in it for the money. My son's getting gay married. The flowers alone, you have no idea. I get it. I lived in New York. All right, Miss Perry, climb aboard. It's fake killing time. You chicken! He got at us. Retreat! Edison, the bulletin board's a no-go. Really? So, you did your best and this task just... eludes you? I have a lifetime of experience with red tape. I know when to walk away. Yeah, you do. Hey, Edison, the system is lazy. I have integrity. Too much to deal with any of it. I'll do it myself. And I would love to watch you try. Hey, get a load of that wood burnt sign. Did Mr. Whitney and Woodshop make that for you guys? Yes, that is a Whitney original. Oh, you know, I noticed that Whitney's bathroom has this amazing toilet. Flushes like a DC-10 turbine. Probably exceeds code. But what's wrong with a little friendship between departments? Now, how can our committee be your friend? They want their porn unblocked, and then they'll give you your board. That's what that was? How did you know? Did you investigate pornography when you were a cop? Well, something like that. So he wants a bride. <laughs> Welcome to the labyrinth, kid. Only there ain't no puppets or bisexual rock stars down here. So at the center of it all, if you're lucky, a piece of cork and a few pins. So what? Uh, is it worth it? Is that what a bulletin board is to you, Professor? A piece of cork? That's not what it is to people that lose their pets, people that need rides, people whose bad bands need bad bass players. To them, every pushpin has the power to change the future. So yes, Professor, it's worth it. I know a lady in the IT department. What are you doing? Making a costume for a movie premiere. Annie bent glue guns from the apartment after an incident so hilarious that even describing it would narratively eclipse what's happening here. What's happening here? You and me bonding. Check it out. 
Tell me the truth. If you were a post-apocalyptic survivor... I would raise goats, hoard cinnamon, and travel only at night. But please, I have some work to do here. Just one thing, watch this. Initiate ballistic foam. <laughs> Oops. What the hell? Sorry. You just destroyed five hours of work. I'll clean it up. No, you don't touch it. Oh. I know this is bad timing, but I should go if I'm going to make the movie, so. What are you doing? Oh, something nobody ever does. Teaching you consequences. But I have to go. But you can't. Oh, huh, isn't that crazy? You ever been grounded? You ever been punished? Do you have any idea what it feels like to be refused something? I know what it feels like when people try to control me. You should know it never goes their way. Ooh. And what kicky punch movie is that from? The ones you've seen? Or the one I'm gonna watch you miss? <laughs> I said I was sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I punched my landlord, but I'm not getting my deposit back. That's an example of you being punished for choosing to hurt someone. I wrecked your papers by accident. You chose to spray this crap on purpose because you didn't care what happened. See, let me tell you something. For five years, I have watched people walk around on your eggshells. Oh, a bed. He's so imaginative, so magical. Everybody hide the hamburgers. If a bed sees a hamburger, we'll all travel in time. Let's eat cookies and ice cream and dress in pajamas in the middle of the day. I watched my third wife die. You think I'm spoiled? <laughs> and you think I'm spoiled because it's never occurred to anyone to do this? You're not the Marco Polo bullying me. You're just another tourist taking pictures of a great big wall. Oh, uh, you're gonna make me cry. When's the last time someone physically limited you? Oh, just now. You physically ruined my drawings. Drawings of what? You're an artist? I destroyed something valuable? Looked like you were doodling chickens. He is a duck! Uh-oh. Meow Meow Beans lets you say how much you like, who you like, when you like, all from a standard non-boost mobile phone. Let's see how it works. Bixel, what did you think of the way the Dean introduced us? I thought he did great. That's why I'm giving him five Meow Meow Beans. Aw. Well, Bixel, I'm sorry, but I thought his intro was just okay. That's why I'm gonna give him two out of five Meow Meow Beans. Meow 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 Beans. With Meow Meow Beans, students can rate teachers. Teachers can rate students. Everyone and anyone can rate each other. Meow Meow Beans. You know, I could... I fought for this country, and I know you don't get to pick and choose the parts you fight for. But I know. I should go number two soon. <laughs> hey, here you go. Here you go. Nobody is going to downvote a guy on his birthday. Wait. Are you using Meow Meow Beans? If you can't kill it, join it. But when you get older, you're going to see the warning signs. Mark Zuckerberg is Fidel Castro in flip-flops. Meow Meow Beans is going to make East Berlin look like Woodstock. You take my word for that. Do you own stock in Trivial Pursuit's Baby Boom Edition? Intro to Chemistry, third edition. Mint. $200 retail, $160 on the street. Why are there books in an air duct? Why is there hot sauce in the bathroom? It's Greendale. They must be stolen. We have to tell the dean. Hold on. Let's just calm down and have a slow, pleasant chat about possibilities. What kind? All kinds. Anything is possible. We might one day have hover cars. Kale might be poisonous. And we might not have to get the dean involved here. Jeffrey, these are stolen. From who? By who? 
How long ago? It's from whom, by whom, but he nailed the third question. Look, we are the committee that deals with Greendale's problems. Now, did you see anything on our list about a pile of missing books that are worth more than the school they're hidden in? One thing's for sure. If we hand these over, they'll really go missing. And you think that money's gonna be used to cut our paychecks or to make another wrapping peanut costume? I can't believe what I'm hearing. Fine. You wanna go to heaven? Walk away. More for us. I'm an accomplice now. If I walk away, I'll only get into heaven by turning you what in. What about your restaurant? What about your kids? Miss Bennett, when God talks to you, what language does he use? Because in my experience, when he thinks you deserve something, he drops it on you like a ton of bricks. I love textbooks. That's why I stole these. All right, knock it off. What? You gotta make it sound believable or you're not getting out of here. I'm trying. Try harder. Go. I love textbooks. That's why I stole them. Mm, look at this one. <sighs> Stolen textbooks are the best kind. I stole all these books and put them in this room so I could come kiss them. That's all. Thank you. Please. I'm on parole. Exactly. So keep your mouth shut or we'll send this file to everybody. What do you mean everybody? Everybody! I can't do this anymore. What? I'm out. It's too far. It's too evil. Look, you guys can split the money. I'm just going to leave quietly. Goodbye. Wow! Oh! oh! What the hell? Yeah? What the hell? I can't let you leave until we're done with this deal. Shirley, this is not what God wants oh. you to be doing today. We had our chance to think about that. He dropped this on us like a ton of bricks. Right, Dickie? Oh, yeah, definitely. No, you say that this isn't getting insane. This one is for Crouton. With his dying breath, he utters, The Dark Lord will kill you all. Wait, these things can talk? I want two taken alive. I want to try something. Hi. <laughs> I'm Tiny Nuggins. I'm gonna put my dagger down right here so we can just talk. Mm, human trash. You know, look, uh, I'm gonna give it to you straight. We're looking for a necromancer. We don't need two goblins to find him. So between you and your friend, who do you think's the most useful? Man, your friend sure can talk. Liar, he'll never turn. Oh, yeah, because of that famous goblin loyalty. I could never drive a wedge between you and some guy from work. Nah, I was best man at that guy's wedding. Oh? Your friend says you just got married. Congratulations. Too bad about the food. I hope your flesh rotten. Wait, what about the food? Oh, I guess he didn't like your wedding toast. Goldback said that? Clang doesn't approve of you and Lisa Goldbeck, and I don't get the sense it's because of his feelings for you. You know, I think about Lisa sitting in that hole in Dark Tooth Canyon with old Frimrock and Grignog rolling about on the wolf pelts. Uh, come on, <laughs> between you and me, which one do you think is yours? Ah! <laughs> I know where the tower is. Ooh. Bring it in, guys. Ah! Hey, uh, uh, listen, um, I got a former partner that's been here since 89 in a coma, so... 1889? <laughs> 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 <laughs>